Hi there. In, in this video, I'm going to show you all about um, using open source, uh, effectively uh, this tool OGR to OGR, uh, and two other uh, ways um, using QGIS um, of getting your data into PostGIS. So that's a specially enabled uh, version of Postgres, an open source uh, relational database management system. So. I, I will be looking at JSON, um, JSON type files, which are becoming more and more popular nowadays. Uh, you see quite a lot of uh, JSON uh, data, which is the open standard file format, and um, it stores the uh, geometry and all the fields and stuff in a, in a less verbose sort of way than uh, XML, really. So, what have we here? Well, I've gone to the site, gdal.org, and the f I'm going to use this tool as the first way to load my JSON data. And in fact, it could be any data. If we look down here, we can see the file formats. Um, that's just some possible values. Uh, there's lots and lots of formats we can use. So, I'm going to be just... Um, uh, th th these are the output files, so we can um, input and output into all sorts of um, uh, formats. Uh, and there's lots of powerful uh, parameters in here. And you can see here, look, you can embed a um, SQL statement within the uh, OGR to OGR tool. So where did where did it get this? Well, you can download FW tools. So it's FW tools dot uh, map tools dot org and uh, you can go there uh, so you can get it from there or what I've I, it actually comes with QGIS so the executables are all here so I'm just inside the folder the 64-bit folder program file slash QGIS uh, and then your your I've got 3.2 I keep the version numbers and the bin folder and you'll see lots of executables there's all kinds of fun stuff in there that do all kinds of powerful things all the raster GDAL stuff but like I said we're, we're just going to pick pick up on this one here the OGR to OGR so <clears throat> let's get straight into it I shall just paste in here uh, a command here's one I created earlier so I'm going to OGR to OGR. Uh, I'm putting in dash progress where where possible. It comes back with a bit of a progress report, sort of percentage completed. Uh, I'm I'm going to uh, put my data into Postgres. Uh, the simple PG parameters there, connection parameters. I use local host, and actually that's when it's local one two seven oh oh one. You 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 don't really need that, but but I I put host in there for completeness sake. I've created a simple user username and password here, um, so you have to put that in. And also note um, uh, the database I'm actually going to hit, which I just called OSM. And the file I'm going to load, well, it's in this folder, and it's JSON. So this is the, the District of Columbia. So the, these are the building outlines that Microsoft have um, made open source. All the buildings in the States, so 100 plus million. And there's, I think there's about 60,000 in this. And um, it's, uh, like I said, it's just the uh, District of Columbia one. And it's a JSON file. Let's look at PG Admin. So I'm going to go, what I'm, what I'm saying is it's going to go into OSM, uh, into the public schema. Uh, and it should appear here in the tables. Press return. So what we're doing here is we're loading this JSON file, but of course it could be um, a whole variety of formats, not just JSON. So I've got this coming up because I've got dash progress in there. So it's loading. Sorry, it's importing. But it could be all sorts of formats here at the end, and it could be all, all sorts of formats with this dash F, is, is, you know, Esri shape to tab or tab to shape or... Um, uh, or just all kinds, of unlimited. So. Uh, so that says done. Let's go back to PG Admin. Let's refresh the tables on this OSN schema, and sure enough, we can see District of Columbia. Let's just go to QGIS, 
and under my PostGIS connection, under that connection, you'll see District Columbia. Double click. And there they all are. So they're not, uh, there's not, not, not many attributes in here, I don't think there's any at all actually, but as you can see, there's a uh, pretty substantial number of buildings. And this is all the free stuff, like I said, from, um, from uh, Microsoft. So, um, uh, so it's just an FID there. That's, that, that, that's, that's all I've got there. That, that, that's the uh, only field. But as you can see, it's gone straight in, uh, no problem at all. And in fact, if I go to Arc Catalog, Look at my connection, uh, this connection here, which is uh, to Postgres. Uh, again, it's just localhost. I've got a simple, I've just created this simple user here, and it's to the OSM schema. That's what I've got is the connection. Double click. <coughs> and we should have, there's District of Columbia. Let's drop it down on this side. There's District of uh, Columbia in the public. Go to preview. And there you have it. So we've used open source there to load into our uh, relational database, spatial database, Postgres, um, and we can see it both in ArcGIS and in QGIS. So uh, just with no, no problems at all. I'll just disconnect that for the moment. Let's get back. So that was one way using the command line prompt. And you can imagine you can batch this up, set it to schedule and a schedule, window scheduler, whatever you use, task scheduler, all this sort of thing. So it's extremely powerful and uh, use the site to find out a bit more about all the options. And there's there's a lot and there's lots of good description in this list. OK, well, I said I was going to show you three ways. Way number two. So what, what I'm going to do in this way, I, in this method, first of all, I'm going to right click and delete the table. You can see it and go straight from QGIS and delete the post uh, data. Let's remove that as well. If I go back to PG Admin and just refresh this, you'll see District of Columbia is gone. Let me go back to QGIS. What, I, what I'm going to do, use this time is the DB Manager. So the DB Manager, so instead of using command line, that may, may be suitable for a particular approach, particular type of architecture, enterprise approach, that sort of thing. So that's great and it's very quick, it's uh, very powerful. But you may just want to do it with this front end uh, GUI that comes in QGIS, which is open source free download. Go to Q, uh, DB Manager, go to my schema all the way. So there it is. So I'm in the um, actual database of the schema there. Uh, and what I'm going to do is go to the <coughs> import. You see, while that was that, while that's highlighted, uh, the input is going to be my C slash um, same folder and stuff that I used before in the command line. I'll just copy and paste, and I'll call it uh, DOC builds. So that's my resultant table. It's going to be uh, in there. I'll um, create a special index for it. Make sure that's done, and we could we could alter SRIDs and stuff, etc. And it's still going to go into the um, public uh, schema there, as you can see. Press OK, and there it comes up. Import was successful. So I've done that all within the DB Manager GUI here. So go to public, and there we see doc builds and all the information. What is the extent? Click find out and let it calculate the extent. I just left it at the default uh, spatial reference there, 4326. And as you can see, there's there's just a unique ID that's all using um, sequence there. Uh, but it all has to happen sort of automatically for your unique ID. And um, and of course, there's the polygon geometry. But, but that's all. So I can right hand mouse click, add to canvas. And there you go. So just using database DB Manager, you can uh, import and and you can uh, j just just load up uh, and any type you know map info tab or or an anything really. But in this example, obviously I've I've just used JSON files. Okay then. Well, I was going to show you um, uh, three ways. So this is a third and final way. 
which uh, amazingly is even simpler. So uh, I'll just uh, let's remove that layer and delete the table, doc builds. Actually, let's just go to PG uh, admin here so you can see it. So you can see doc builds. So that's what was just loaded. So let's just delete that. Um, so that's clear now. Yep. So go back to here. Um, I don't need to delete that anymore because I've just done it in PG Admin. So let's just do a refresh. Yeah, it's gone now. Okay, so I've got my connection open. This is my sort of uh, d d data browser here, and, and indeed a connections browser with the database connections. So you can see I've got my OSM training, and, and I'm, I'm looking at the public schema here. So let's add the vector data, which is that JSON. Okay, so I'll just add it. So I'm adding the local file direct. So I could be adding a shape file. I could be adding map info tab. I could be adding coverages. I could be adding all kinds of uh, data types here, uh, geospatial data types. And now all I do is take this JSON, hold the left hand mouse button down and simply drag it onto public and release the mouse button. So I've released the mouse button it looks like maybe it's stuck or something, but it isn't. But look down in the bottom here with the icon, the hugest icon, you see it with that sort of green flash. But also, now you can see the export running here with the percentage. So now it says import was successful. Press OK. Let's remove this because that's my local JSON file. But you can see um, that District Columbia is in my PostGIS. If I go back to uh, PG Admin and refresh, sure enough, there it is. And indeed, I can double click or add selected layer to canvas or what have you. And there you go. That is, uh, it's as simple as that, really. Uh, pretty straightforward. So the so the real the real sort of command line version. This one is obviously the more technical one, where you can re really really get to. Um, all the um, if you just type it, uh, you, you can see all the parameters and do all kinds of stuff. There's 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 full help um, setting there, um, but yeah, all kinds of things are supported. All, all, all uh, lots and lots of formats, and you can um, set unique IDs and clipping and all, all sorts of things. So that that's the powerful, really getting into the guts of it method. The DB Manager is a very powerful interface, a GUI to your database, PostGIS database, and uh, is, is a nice sort of point and click. Uh, but like I said, even simpler is just dragging from layers onto your connection in PostGIS, and off it goes. And, and as I demonstrated, it was available for ArcGIS. Uh, and in fact, if you put all the um, appropriate information in the MapInfo catalog, the um, in this catalog, uh, and, and get it all in there, you would be able to see that same um, so you enter the information in here, which is the extents and the coordinate system and, and that sort of thing. Um, you can then um, get it into MapInfo as well. There's just a bit more tweaking with MapInfo, but I'll cover um, MapInfo uh, separately in, a, in, a, in another video because there's a couple of other things you can do there. But anyway, hopefully that, 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 that shows you just how with open source, you can translate vast amounts of data of a whole wide variety of formats uh, again, just using open source, there's no commercial software uh, uh, being used um, in my examples, and it goes straight into a, a, this sort of full-blown um, relational database uh, environment uh, for multi-use, multi-user um, sort of solution. So anyway, I uh, hope you find that useful. Thanks very much.